God has warned me that someone you deeply trust in this life may cause you great harm. If you depend on this person, you will eventually sink, and death will embrace you, preventing you from living again. Be very careful, as the enemy is trying to gravely harm you through death. This warning is here to save you from an important situation. Pay attention to what may happen. The angels are worried because you love someone very much. Unfortunately, you will end up falling into a great temptation because of this person. Something bad might happen, and you cannot ignore this warning, or you will be surrendering to evil. God has come today to offer you something crucial for your life, a complete operation. He wants to cancel all the evil that the enemy is trying to cause you, making you unhappy. From now on, you will be able to enjoy the company of someone dearly loved. The world is becoming increasingly dark, so you must free your soul from all the obstacles that Satan tries to put in your path. The more you show weakness, the more evil can corrupt your good decisions, and you will end up at the bottom of the pit. All the difficulties you have faced will finally be resolved, and you will achieve great financial success because God will open a door that no one can close. He will restore the shine to your life. Write to confirm that you will fulfill your promises. He was at the door of this house when I learned where he sent us to prevent something terrible from happening in your life. He escaped by the mercy of your father so that your story does not come to an end. Please reach the end. Write, 90, so that all the evil that came to destroy your life cannot reach you, for the Lord is your shepherd, and you will lack nothing. Although you have gone through many anguishes, this moment has finally arrived, and you will know your next step. Pray now, for the angels are warning you. If you do not act now, you will suffer losses, but if you follow this path, you will become a stronger person and be protected from all evil. God says that if you do not stay until the end of this message, you will end up surrendering to something very sad in your life. One of your children is at great risk, and it will be your fault if you do not accept this liberation and end up losing their life cruelly. Amen. Satan was there trying to create great drama behind your back, and you didn't even notice. That is why this warning came now. If you had not made the right decision to open, you would already have fallen into this illusion and be suffering. Write 8080 so that the spirit of death cannot reach you anymore. He has been trying to interfere with your greatest goals for a long time, but he will not succeed if you follow this message to the end. Then you will be worthy of receiving liberation. Amen. The angels warn you. This is the first and last time I ask you to keep silent in your life because there are people beside you who claim to be your true friends but are only leeching and destroying you. God has a story to tell you because you are about to go through a great trauma that will take away all your happiness and fulfillment. The enemy is preparing something, and you need to escape from his clutches. From the heavenly realm, an urgent warning resounds in your ears while an unexpected blessing approaches. Know that there is a wolf in sheep's clothing among your own family, ready to steal your newly acquired fortune. Stay vigilant, for greed disguises itself as kinship, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strip you of all that is precious to you. Do not let betrayal ruin your newfound happiness. This is a direct warning from above, a call to action. Resist deceit and stand firm against adversity. I extend my protective hand over you in this moment of uncertainty and imminent danger. While a blessing is approaching, 
I want you to know that I am here to guide your steps and protect what is yours. Despite the shadows looming, know that my light is always present, illuminating the path of truth and justice. Trust in me and do not fear, for I am by your side, ready to face any challenge that arises. Stand firm in faith and determination because together, we will overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. You are not alone, for I am your guardian and protector. Right, I trust in the Lord, my Father. You are not alone in this battle, God is by your side, guiding your steps and protecting your path. He sent this warning so that you can recognize the dangers and take the necessary measures to free yourself from the evil that tries to surround you. It is time to make a firm decision and commit to the path of light and truth. Do not let the shadows of the enemy darken the brightness of your soul. You have the power to resist and overcome all adversities by trusting in the divine strength that dwells within you. Now more than ever, it is essential to remain steadfast in your faith and seek divine guidance at all times. Do not be swayed by the temptations and illusions that the enemy tries to cast in your path. Instead, rise with courage and determination, knowing that God is always present to guide and protect you. I know you have been seeking a miracle, and your heart is heavy. I want you to know that I am here with you now, speaking directly to your soul. Please focus on my words, as they hold great significance, and I desire for you to fully accept them. I have observed how life's challenges have overwhelmed you, leaving you feeling helpless and weak. I understand your pain as you witness the collapse of the life you worked so hard to build. You may believe you can hide your emotions from the world, but I see deep into your heart and know the wounds it carries. I am aware of the burdens from the past, memories that relentlessly haunt you. I understand everything you are going through and accept you exactly as you are, with all your weaknesses. What I cannot allow is for bitterness to take root and persist in your heart because there is a time for everything in life, a season for sadness but also a time for joy. I bring you this message today because your faith and hope have been your armor, but doubt has infiltrated, and the enemy's arrows have found their mark. It is not your fault. You neglected our communion and the power of prayer. I warned you not to stray. I invited you to draw near to me because, by my side, even the heaviest sorrows become bearable. I am here to encourage you to return to me, to reconcile our connection. There is still time, and you can recover what seems lost. I am the source of goodness. Come to me today, no matter how insurmountable your problems may seem, and I will provide solutions. Right, I love God to follow the ways of the Lord. I love you more than anyone else could, and only I have the power to purify the sorrows of your soul and heal your body. Though your sins may be as dark as the night, I can make them as pure as freshly fallen snow. Come to me with your prayers. Seek me sincerely, and you will find me. I will free you from all evil because your enemies may seem formidable, but they cannot defeat you with my help. It is no coincidence that this message has reached you. I orchestrated these events because my love for you makes all things possible. Embrace my words, and you will be free from fear. I will break the chains that bind you, the sinister bonds that lead to despair. There is no greater force than mine, and even demons tremble before me. For my children, my words bring joy and healing, guiding them to safety. Psalm 121, 
verses 7 and 8, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. As you receive this message, know that I am closer to you than you can imagine. My love for you is unconditional, and I am always by your side, watching your steps, even in the most difficult moments. I see your weariness, the tears you shed in secret, and the doubts that haunt your mind. But know that I am here to wipe away your tears, renew your strength, and restore your hope. Do not be led by despair, for tomorrow always brings the promise of a new beginning. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth and learning. Even in the darkest moments, remember that the light is always present, ready to illuminate your path. I know every detail of your story, every battle you have fought, and every victory you have won. There is nothing you can hide from me, for I see beyond appearances and know the deepest desires of your heart. Trust in me and place your concerns in my hands, for I will care for you with all my love and care. When you feel that hope is fading, remember that I am here ready to renew your strength and inspire your soul. No matter how steep the path you are walking, I am by your side, holding your hand and guiding your steps. Trust in me, for I am your safe refuge, your secure harbor in the midst of the storm. Never doubt my love for you, for it is eternal and unbreakable. Even in moments of greatest weakness, I am here, strengthening you with my love and sustaining you with my grace. Do not fear the unknown, for I am ahead of you, preparing the way and opening doors that no one can close. Continue seeking my presence in your life through prayer, meditation, and reflection, for it is in communion with me that you will find peace and strength for any challenge that arises on your path. Always remember that you are not alone, for I am with you today and always. I feel the weight of your concerns and the weariness that has invaded your heart, but you must know that I am here by your side, ready to guide each of your steps and protect you from all harm. The words you have read are more than promises, they are a reflection of my eternal love for you. Realize that in the midst of life's challenges, I am here to be your safe refuge. You are never alone, for I am your constant protector. In moments of uncertainty and danger, I extend my hand to hold yours, offering you comfort and security. I care not only for your body but also for your soul. I see beyond appearances and know the deepest desires of your heart. Even in emotional, spiritual, and mental struggles, I am by your side, sustaining you with my grace and peace. Know that my protection is not temporary, it is eternal. From now and forever, I am caring for you at every step of your journey, whether in moments of transition, important decisions, or daily routines. I am present, taking care of every detail of your life. I invite you to place your trust in me. Trust that I am your heavenly shepherd, guiding you with love and care. May the truths of this psalm be firm anchors in your heart, guiding you in trust and hope in me, who keeps and watches over you from now and forever. When you feel discouraged and lack motivation, remember that I am here to renew your strength and restore your joy. Do not fear what is to come, for I am ahead of you, preparing the way and opening doors that no one can close. Seek me sincerely, for I am always ready to listen to your pleas and bless you. Let yourself be guided by my immense love and limitless peace. Write, God is everything, to affirm your trust in me and receive my protection. Never forget that I am always with you, today and forever. 
Trust in me, my child, and I will lead you to green pastures, quenching your thirst with living waters and caring for you at all times. As you seek my presence and surrender to my love, know that I am engraving my plans for you in your mind. Do not fear, for the challenges you face are not greater than my ability to lead you to victory. I perceive that in the midst of tribulations, you have lost motivation and enthusiasm for what you once loved. But know that I renew your strength and give you new encouragement. Allow me to restore the flame of passion in your heart and guide you to your highest purposes. Do not worry about what is to come, for I have already prepared the way for you. Trust in me and move forward with faith, for I am by your side, equipping you to face any challenge that arises. When you feel doubts or uncertainties, remember that I am your sure guide. You can trust me to direct you on the path of truth and justice. I will lead you along the best paths and help you achieve your highest goals. Do not be discouraged by difficulties, for I am with you at all times. Trust in me, and I will take you beyond what you can imagine. Right, God is faithful, to reaffirm your trust in me and receive my blessing upon your life. Continue seeking my presence, and I will give you the strength you need to overcome any obstacle. Remember that I am your safe refuge and your constant support. With me by your side, you will never be alone. I am the giver of desire and action, and my desire for you is to ignite your passion. I have incredible purposes for your life and I will instill the necessary enthusiasm to carry them out. I see that you are understanding the importance of my words, and that pleases me because your life is precious to me. Your soul is invaluable, more precious than all the riches of the world, for I redeemed it with my own blood. I am bringing tranquility to your heart and thoughts, flooding them with my great love. My spirit is entering your home and family, bringing healing, unity, and multiplying love. Right, I receive my Lord to affirm and fully trust in God, knowing that He is worthy of our trust in all circumstances. Right, my trust is in God to reaffirm that if you trust in Him, God is speaking now. Relax, for I am by your side as a mighty protector, defeating all your adversaries. You will no longer face your battles alone, for I will be ahead of you, defeating your enemies. Do not fear, for I am greater than all your problems. Above all, remember that you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. With me by your side, you will lack nothing. I will provide for all your needs and those of your family. I have magnificent blessings reserved for you, things that will fill your heart with joy. I desire to open doors that have remained closed until now. I want to make your dreams come true. My greatest joy is seeing you fulfilled, and I hold wonderful blessings for you. Right, I have wings of joy to claim them. The angels have had visions and are very concerned because there is someone beside you acting falsely. This person is not being transparent. If you continue with them on your journey, you will fall into a great precipice, and it will be all your fault because I warned you. Satan has prepared something terrible in your life, and to avoid this great suffering and pain, there is only one way. You need to share this message so that this period ends once and for all. God is saying that in the coming hours, a relative of yours will face something fatal, and you have been chosen to prevent it from happening, saving their soul from this great danger and preventing their life from going through a week of struggles and pain. 
Write 6060 so that all your plans begin to truly flow and you find the way out of all the calamity and illness you have been experiencing. You will obtain the cure and achieve your goals. God wants to share a great secret that has been hidden for a long time. You need to free yourself before that person ends it, bringing great injustice to your life. This person does not wish you well. You will soon discover if you do not abandon this word. Amen. The angels have had a vision that you will lose someone very special in your life. God does not want that, so join hands so that it does not happen, and you do not have to deal with suffering for the rest of your life. They are warning you of a significant unforeseen event in your life. Do not ignore this message, for you will face terrible consequences if you do. The angels are very scared because they see your spiritual connection, and you need to end this evil before it consumes your soul and punishes you, depriving you of your eternal salvation. Write 5050 to request the remedy for all the illnesses you have been experiencing because God has a great plan that will save you from all abysses and calm your life so that you rarely go through this moment again. The enemy is trying to cause a great family loss, and it could be one of your children. You need to prevent them from leaving the house tomorrow because the revelation in the next few minutes will be terrible. God is saying that there is a sin that condemns you, and if you do not repent, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Open your eyes and do what is necessary to avoid this repentance. He proclaims that we are once again on the edge of a deep abyss. The recent manifestation of insensitivity among nations is sowing the seeds of a global conflict of catastrophic proportions. This is a period that requires deep reflection and exceptional discernment, as the ramifications of a large-scale war would be catastrophic not only for those directly involved but for the entire earth. Comment 4040 If you were the first to embrace this impulse of renewal, recognizing that even in the midst of storms, there is room to cultivate hope. Trust in your innate ability to transcend any difficulty and expect to receive a series of triumphs and blessings. I warn you that every ironic expression regarding the truth sows doubts that can destabilize the fundamental trust for any relationship, whether human or divine. Once these uncertainties are established, they are difficult to eliminate and can lead to withdrawal and loneliness. It is important to recognize that many cultures celebrate the pursuit of adrenaline as an emblem of courage and vigor. However, it is vital to discern when this pursuit is beneficial and when it becomes a threat to your physical and mental integrity. Learning to deny reckless impulses is as crucial as accepting challenges that truly add value to your existence. I warn you that silence is more than the absence of sound, it is an active state of listening and authentic presence. We must use silence to truly hear what our heart and soul have to reveal, accessing ideas that can only be reached when external noise is reduced. The angels announce that peace is like a delicate flower that needs constant attention and care. Indifference and isolationism can generate misunderstandings and unfounded fears, forming small sparks into overwhelming flames. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding, Proverbs 9 verse 10. This verse speaks about the importance of fearing God, not in the sense of being afraid but of revering and obeying His commandments. It highlights that this reverence is the starting point for true wisdom and understanding. By following God's teachings and remaining in communion with Him, 
we can find the wisdom necessary to discern between right and wrong and face life's challenges with confidence and spiritual discernment. In this context, the previous text emphasizes the importance of being attentive to divine warnings and following the path of righteousness to avoid the enemy's traps and attain the peace and blessing God desires for our lives. The angels emphasized the importance of understanding adrenaline as a signal that something significant is happening. Instead of reacting instinctively, it is advisable to pause and analyze why our body is reacting that way. Through this evaluation, we can learn to respond more thoughtfully and controlled, transforming an impulsive reaction into a deliberate action. God warns us that in the most challenging moments of a confrontation, the desire to give up can be overwhelming. However, He assures us that we are not alone on this journey. God walks beside us, strengthening and guiding us, giving us support to remain firm and move forward with determination. Always remember that every insensitive gesture can be the precursor to a series of irreversible events. History is full of examples where small provocations were enough to trigger great conflicts. Therefore, we must be vigilant in our interactions and always seek peace and mutual understanding. The angels ask us, my child, to understand that evil is attracted by fragility, not only physical but also moral and spiritual. In moments of uncertainty and discouragement, our vulnerability increases. Strengthening faith and creating a community support network are essential to remain resilient in the face of adversity and resist the seductions of evil. It is important to recognize, my child, that aggression only drives people away and creates a vicious cycle of errors and resentments. When we follow this path, we lose the opportunity to listen and be heard, to understand and be understood. Open and respectful dialogue is fundamental to resolving differences and avoiding escalating tensions that could lead to significant ruptures. God reminds us that facing the details of a conflict requires courage and truth. Standing firm despite accumulated weariness is not only an act of bravery but also a manifestation of our faith in His power to transform the most difficult situations. The challenge is not only physical but a true test of inner faith and determination. God encourages us to seek strength from the depths of our soul, those hidden reserves that emerge when we seem to be at our limit. Every choice made in times of tension must be meticulously evaluated on the scale of divine justice, as what may seem a short-term triumph can result in long-term disaster if not grounded in principles of equality and mutual respect. God observes and evaluates our actions not only by intentions but by the results generated. He warns us that despite the constant threat of evil, ultimate victory is guaranteed for those who remain faithful. Through faith, love, and perseverance, we can not only resist evil but also help transform those still under its influence. God calls us to be beacons of light in a dark world, guiding others towards the truth. Remember, my child, that fighting against the evil one is also an internal battle against our weaknesses and negative inclinations. Every choice we make can lead us towards the light or drag us into the shadows. It is crucial to remain faithful to our values and principles, even in times of trial, as they are the true measure of our character. This struggle requires constant self-examination and spiritual renewal, for only through self-awareness can we transcend the obstacles we face. Remember that resisting during a confrontation also means acting with intelligence and prudence. It is essential to analyze each situation carefully, 
make thoughtful decisions, and proceed according to our fundamental values. The angels teach us that constantly avoiding challenges out of fear hinders our personal development and limits our ability to understand and interact with the world. Cowardice deprives us of social experiences that are essential to strengthening character and wisdom. Therefore, we must find a healthy balance between action and reflection, seeking serenity even in the most challenging moments. The angels guide us not to underestimate the power of silence as a tool for deep connection with the Divine. In the moments of calm that follow the day's challenges, it is in silence that we find a quiet communion with God. This is a place where words are unnecessary to express our faith and seek guidance. Always remember, my child, that the struggle against evil is also an internal battle against our weaknesses and negative inclinations. Every choice we make can lead us towards the light or drag us into the shadows. Therefore, it is crucial to remain faithful to our values and principles, even in the most challenging moments, as they will guide us to true spiritual victory. The angels encourage us to cultivate self-control techniques that allow us to maintain calm and clarity even under intense pressure. This skill will not only bring personal benefits but also have a positive impact on everyone around us. The angels warn that aggression is not just an emotional reaction, it can become a deeply rooted habit in our behavior, difficult to change. They urge us to be careful with our words and actions, deliberately choosing serenity and positive assertiveness instead of expressing anger. Mastering our emotions is a fundamental step for our personal development and for maintaining harmony with others. Even in the midst of deserts, only express your desires, and I will open my hands, granting everything you seek. However, you need to prioritize me and believe in my promises with unwavering faith. The key to your true treasure of blessings is faith, and the size of your faith will determine what you receive. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please me, and your faith demonstrates trust in me. If you doubt, I cannot act. Your faith must be great but simple like a child's trust in their parents, eagerly and confidently anticipating your promises, never doubting your words. Today, I encourage you to trust in me as a child, opening your arms with confidence towards your Heavenly Father. Since the day you gave your heart to me, I purified it with my blood and adopted you as my child. You are an heir to everything you see, even if you do not fully understand. I know it is sometimes challenging to believe with so many worldly distractions pulling you away from me. When your spiritual fire diminishes, believing in miracles can seem foolish as you rely on human reasoning. I am amused by the wisdom of those who create laws that contradict themselves. All I ask is that you believe in me, and you will see the impossible manifest in your life. I will bring healing to your body and equip you to bring healing to others. Just as I turned water into wine at the wedding in Cana, I remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. I can still perform creative miracles and provide the essential things that you and your loved ones need, and only I can offer them. As the world and its systems fail, believe in my words. Embrace my faith with all your strength, and I will do much more for you than you can imagine. I want you to experience my peace and harmony in your home, a special love among your family where affection and patience reign. I desire to eliminate jealousy and bring prosperity to all aspects of your life. When I speak of prosperity, I do not mean temporary wealth but an endless flow of blessings. 
I want you to flourish in all areas of your life, possessing eternal peace, and for all your paths to be smooth now and forever. To achieve all this, you must cultivate faith and patience, for all things happen in my perfect timing. All honor and glory to God. Amen. Dispersing the darkness and guiding us with hope, you are the source of all truth and encouragement. We give thanks for every word that inspires us to move forward, even in the midst of adversities. Today, our hearts are filled with gratitude for your unwavering faithfulness. We thank you for keeping us steadfast in our purposes, even when life storms try to deviate us. You are the rock upon which we build our lives, and we trust in your constant presence to sustain us at all times. Lord, you know the daily battles we face. We thank you for your guidance and encouragement that enable us to overcome challenges. When we feel weak, your strength is made perfect in our weakness. In the midst of struggles, we find comfort in knowing that we are not alone, for you are with us, strengthening us for the battles ahead. Father, how deep is our gratitude for your unconditional love, a love that transcends our failures and limitations. Nothing can separate us from that love that envelopes and embraces us. We thank you for your grace that reaches us, renewing us day by day. As we conclude this prayer, we lift our hearts to you, thanking you not only for the blessings we receive but also for the privilege of being called your children. Accept our gratitude, O oh God, and may we live each day in response to your love and care, reflecting your light in a world that needs your hope. In the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.